when you think of the best monster in the Mimic, you would usually think of Kintoru. Or Yuri. But in this video, I will be going over this guy, Doogie. So why exactly do I think they made this part so good? Subscribe first and like the video. Also watch to the end for a special surprise. Also we need a compensation for Yuri Lantern. Well first the mechanics aren't super out of place and it's similar to book 1. You grab the item, avoid enemies and use it to escape. What I think is done extremely well is how they complicate the simple mechanics. The item is normally a key or something but here. It's a gross larvae. And it slowly wakes up. And then it kills you. It's really cool how they made the item a monster that actually does something. And instead of a normal maze, it's this large area with levers and a big ass wall. You can clearly see how it resembles the old mimic but with newer graphics and mechanics. And now let's talk about the main monster. He is one of my favorite monsters because he has different mechanics. His AI is strange he has average speed and detects when you step onto water. He revs up the chainsaw and stops before running, only sometimes though. He is also able to sink underwater to the other side of the wall. And he actually has a personality unlike most of the other monsters. He is a psychopath, a father. There are a few things I don't like on this part, however. I don't like the statues and the hiding spots just don't work. I might be a bit delusional like how I am 24-8 but I think Babyface meant Boogie is the father of the larvae. I might make a theory video on that if you subscribe and like the video. Boogie is one out of three to get a nightmare mode design. I personally love the design because it isn't super complicated and it's nasty and scary. Brother, uh. I'm still sad that he doesn't have a lantern. And thanks for watching.